Hey y'all, Natural Bay here, and I will be talking to you about why I am in a third world country, why I'm choosing to leave my first world country for a developing country, and why, or where I am and why. So, basically, I am exploring a third world country because I'm just kind of uh, over being kind of stressed in the states and i know that everybody wants to come to the states come to the states it's the land of opportunity and it is it really is it's a lot of opportunity there i tried a lot of things there um some stuff i may have gave up too soon some stuff i got too distracted um some things i i just didn't take the opportunity or stayed in it too long different things i definitely can say that i have been granted a lot of opportunity but i'm just not winning <laughs> i'm still drowning and i know a lot of people are um it's not as easy in the states as people think it is and it like i said it is opportunity there you know so but anyway i'm here in this third world country and i am not on vacation because i know it's beautiful the video i've, I've been showing you it's a beautiful island I'm gonna get to where I'm at soon, y'all. <sighs> also, y'all know, if y'all don't know, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Well, that's where I currently reside. I love New Orleans. I love the culture. I learned a lot from New Orleans. I learned so much. I've been there since 2008. So, yeah. I love it. I love the culture. I did not like New Orleans at first. I worked a lot. I'm a homebody, so I work a lot. I get out a little bit when I got family in town, so I'm not like the Bourbon Street person. I'm not. It's festivals going on all the time. I did explore some of them before I left. Essence Fest, Jazz Fest. I, I explored all of that, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Um, but like I said, I, I'm just drowning. I, the cost of living is just too much. And I feel like I honestly believe it's going to get worse. Hopefully I'm wrong. But I really do believe that the cost of living will get higher. And I was already drowning. So I don't feel like that I'm choosing a place. I feel like I'm being chosen. I believe in God. I believe in a higher power. I believe in the most high. And I believe that sometimes you are guided in directed places. People won't understand I don't even understand. When I went to New Orleans, I didn't even understand, really. I don't feel like New Orleans was somewhere I chose. I never imagined myself living there. People moving there in, in, in big fluxes now, but when I moved, people was not moving to New Orleans like that. So a lot of people kind of want to connect to their roots, so they went back to New Orleans. And I would say that New Orleans kind of opened up the door, not voodoo, because <laughs> believe it or not, most people from New Orleans are not into voodoo. They don't even care about zodiac signs too much. You will see that from a lot of the people, tourists or people that just move there. They don't get into all of that. But you, you can find it. You can find a lot of the stores and stuff like that. Because it is a port where a lot of slaves came from. So it's a lot of culture still there. There's so much culture still there that people don't even realize certain things that they do with the second line and how connected it is. When I, when I came to the place that I am now... And I was around a lot of people with the same type of culture. I've realized, you know, the second lines and the the nine nights and the the candle lights and all of that is very similar to what I've what I've experienced in New Orleans. I didn't experience that in other places in the states. Like I'm from Ohio, Dayton, Ohio originally. I love my hometown too. Love it, you know. So once I get everything I need together and my everything right. I'm definitely taking what I learned back to Dayton, Ohio, because that's my hometown. Um, but yeah, we didn't have a lot of the um, the when people pass in New Orleans, they have a repass, and it's like a party, like a celebration of their life, and you know they party, they dance, and most of the time in the states, we you know we have a funeral, we go and eat, we still kind of crying and mourning. It's not really like they do it in New Orleans; they do it big. And where I am, they do it big too, you know. So, um, 
Also, the healthcare in the States, I don't trust the healthcare system at all. My son has sickle cell, and I will literally travel from New Orleans to Atlanta. I've done that before because I, my his doctor that he originally had retired, and I have dealt with some crazy stuff with the healthcare system, y'all. And that's going to be another topic that I may talk about one day. It's very taboo or it's scary because I've seen some crazy things just dealing with the healthcare system in the States and I do not trust it. It isn't, it's definitely not a personal profession anymore. It's people get their degrees and, and they put what your symptoms are in the system and a drug will pop up for them to take. You know, it's not, it even got to a point, and this is personal, but when I was doing my annual in June, just a feminine, you know, uh, annual checkup, they wanted me to do it myself. Now, mind you, I really didn't have a problem with it. I was just shocked because I had never seen that. And they like, here, here's the tools, and this is what you got to do. And I was like, wow. <laughs> like, this is very much, you know, I guess they just really, almost to a point where they're getting people self-sufficient and that's a good thing because we should not be so dependent on the healthcare system um also the schools um i know during the pandemic a lot of schools has started suffering a lot and it's just not it seems like they're desperate for teachers a lot of teachers are doing like online teaching and the good teachers are they're leaving it seems like so I can't deal with it. Like the stuff that my son and my daughter is telling me they coming home and seeing and the fact that they wasn't really learning. Like they went to a monastery, they're going to a monastery school, but the French, they had stopped learning French. They stopped learning Chinese. And it's just like, they didn't seem like they were just learning anything. So hopefully it's getting better because the, the principal, they have a new uh, principal now. She's wonderful. But, um, and she's trying to implement a lot of programs. But like I said, it scares me because, excuse me, it's the shortest of teachers. So, and I learned, I, I noticed when they went to camp that it was like, these are like kids, counselors, and they were not very attentive at all. So that's one thing. Um, dating, dating is another thing. I feel like, um, the type of man that I'm looking for in the States is rare. They're there, but they're rare. Um, it, you can't even really find a man that know how to change a tire. And I know that us women, we have became modern and it's things that we not doing either. And I do agree. A lot of stuff we stop doing, but it's like, we need to figure out a way to balance this. And I don't see it happening. I don't want to be so dependent on that system. I don't want to be so dependent waiting on triple a and we on the side of the road and i got a husband sitting right here i don't want that if we have to go somewhere and build or find food i don't want you saying all oh, the stores closed what we gonna do i need you to know how to climb a tree give me a coconut <laughs> and me saying that y'all probably know where i'm where i'm at you know give me dig in the ground get some yams <laughs> like, <laughs> find me some hockey please you know, so that's basically where I am on a dating scene. And I have also, along with that, not expecting no man to be perfect. Because I'm not perfect. But the ones that I have dated, y'all, <laughs> I, I literally was probably almost murdered one time. Because the guy rolled down on me by my house. And when I researched this guy, he was out on bond for home invasion and rape. And they, I don't know why he was out, because it was recently, and they had literally had a, um, what you call it, a standoff to get this man. So, I was like, no, <laughs> this ain't it, this ain't it. And I told y'all about in my other video, this one guy, he just wanted me so bad, but he wanted me at his will. And he tried to lower my self-esteem by telling me, oh, you're a single mom, ain't nobody gonna want you, you know. And he didn't make me sad, it just was like, wow, the audacity. You know, so that situation just kind of made me sad. And I don't want to be alone. I'm not desperate for nobody because 
it's plenty of opportunity I had. And some people I met that were wonderful. We just was not compatible. Not with the things I need. Not with the things they may have needed. We, we, we weren't aligned. Still friends, just not aligned. So that's another reason why I'm leaving the States. Um, what else? Also, um, I looked up op other opportunities. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know how to edit it because I will cut some of this stuff out, but I ain't, I'm not there yet. I'm going to get there, though. But um, the racism. Everybody knows it's very racist in, in the States. I'm sorry, my lighting is getting kind of bad. The sun is going down, y'all. But I looked at some different opportunities in the States, and I'm still looking into it at some of the programs where you can move to. You can work from home, and they pay you an incentive to move. And I'm looking at those places, and it's like a lot of them are racist. I am looking at Beaumont. It's bad as heck there. You know, and they're not offering a lot. But if I have to stay there, then, you know, I did apply. You know, I, I'm going to try to take advantage of every opportunity. Um, I'm still looking at some programs, but a lot of those places are very racist, and I am not the type of person to try to fit in somewhere I'm not wanted. If they don't want me there, I ain't about to beg to be there. I don't care about that. That's not me. I'm going to go by my way. I'm not trying to teach my kids to have tough skin to go to school with these kids that's going to treat them differently. Not all of them because it's, it's great people in areas. But most of these places are known to be racist. I'm not moving in those areas. I know a lot of systematic racism is hidden in the system. You don't see it. But I, I'm not moving in an area where they are blatantly racist and may treat me and my children bad. That's not what's going to happen. But I am looking into it. USD, USDA programs, I looked into that, and I feel like some of that stuff I could use in the future. So that's why I'm here. And where I am is Jamaica, which y'all already knew. And the reason why I'm here is because of the opposite of what I don't like in the States. And... Of course, uh, they don't. They may not have a big healthcare system here, but that's for a reason. Most of these people know how to heal. They know how to use what God made to heal themselves. Everybody know I'm into that. Like most, the the just the a regular Jamaican, you know, kind of knows how to put something together if you're not feeling well, or you know, uh, even the sickle cell. You know what I'm saying? They know how to find nuni or different things to tea to make a tea you know, to kind of make you feel better. So that's a big thing. You know, like I, I was paying and buying herbs, but all that stuff is growing around me now. I could just go outside and pick it, you know. So that's a big thing. Um, I am unapologetically black as well. That's the big thing why I chose Jamaica because I love black people. I love all people, but I love black people <laughs> you know we have our our flaws we need a lot of healing but and that's everywhere all over the diaspora and in africa and everywhere but i love us you know i love the roughness of the the men here how they they can build something from just what's around them versus going to a store and having to always buy something from a system they know how to make something out of what God has made and if we do go into a recession I would want to be here I would not want to be in the states when the price is going up like that I'd rather just at least have the opportunity to grow things and not have to take it in the house or try to harvest it because the weather is too cold or the weather is too hot it naturally grows where I am it rains in the morning or at night time it's so balanced you could sleep so good and it's just healthy it's why it's so green and lush here because it's a balanced rain I, rain I love it you know um, the cost of living is a whole lot cheaper here since I work from home I feel like at least now I could be somewhere that's nice walking distance to a beach spring water herbs and I'm not paying an arm and a leg I still have money to save I still have money to invest and still have money to travel back home if I need to 
So that's why I chose Jamaica. What are some of the reasons? And my plan is to have dual citizenship. I want a place here. I want a place in the States. And I feel like wherever I have to be at to get there, that's where I'm going. So that's why I chose to explore Jamaica. Um, what else? What else? What else? It's a, it's a, it's some things here that I don't really care for, um, and I'm going to talk about in other videos. I'm gonna go more in depth in the dating that I've seen here. I'm gonna go more in depth in transportation because that is something I haven't really heard people talk about that yet and that is a that's an experience y'all especially coming from the states um the currency I'm sure y'all probably heard if y'all watch other youtubers about having cash and you know in the states women don't walk around with a lot of cash oh no 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 that's dangerous but here it's like completely opposite you need some cash because it may not be you know ATM but about 40 minutes away but like I said, we're going to talk about that later. Um, everybody here is like iry. Everybody is like vibed out. They they try to loosen me up because I'm so I'm still healing and I'm still uptight. So they like, oh, just relax. Don't stress. You know, it's like, it's amazing. The entertainment is affordable. Like I said, you can walk to a beach. They have centers here. They have things going on for the kids all the time. And even if you do have to pay for something. It's not that high, you know, it's not that expensive, it's not expensive. They have a skating ring here, you know, they have, um, you can go to the mountains, you can go surfing, you, it's so much, boat and waterfalls, it's so much that I haven't even experienced since I've been here, but like I said, I'm not on vacation, I'm just really here to explore to see if this is the place for me, you know, I wanted to spend more time here, but I kind of got to go back and like, make that decision now and if i have to make that decision now is i'm leaning to staying here because a lot of you may not understand it i can explain it till i'm blue in the face i need a place where i can save and invest and still have a peace of mind i can't even find a place where i can save and afford in the states let alone a peace of mind because if y'all know what i was paying where i was at i'm grateful for it but is way more than what I was paying here. I couldn't, my head was way below water. So, I don't care who can't understand it. Because to me, I feel like if you can't understand it, you don't have my best interest at heart. If I could stay somewhere in the States that's affordable, where I could save and invest, my cost of living is not over my income, find it for me. And somewhere that's not in the hood where I'm here shooting in helicopters all the time. And if I do want somebody for the entertainment, I really got to pay a pretty penny to get to it, you know. So, people going to judge and that's fine. They're not going to understand. It. Even Jamaicans. That's another topic I'm going to talk to y'all about. Some Jamaicans, they don't understand. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get there. To me, this is developed. So, if you want to go to the jungles where man developed, then go. But I want to go where God developed and it hasn't been as tampered with. It's, it's still there for my healing. It's still there for my nutrition and all of that. So, that's about it. I'm sure I probably forgot some things. You know, it's, like I said, there's differences of opinions. Um, but it's just, it's no amount of food stamps in the States that could get me to stay there. <laughs> None. You know, I, I have to have something worth living for. I didn't feel like I had a future there. I was like, what is my future? Because I can't save. I can't invest. And I am a junkie at a saving. Or I'm a junkie at investing, y'all. I'm a junkie. Like, I, I, I'm i I'm like, my birthday is October 28th. Just like Bill Gates. I love to invest. I just haven't hit that market. But, I mean, I will. I'm not trying to be rich either. Like I said, I just want a comfortable life for me and my family. And to be able to have different options like at most people but i'm not trying to be greedy and have like a bunch of money that is not my goal honestly if i just had enough to live here and just buy me a piece of land i'd be fine well here in the states and that's only because my kids are there and i want to have something for them as well so 
stories for other days y'all <laughs> but that's pretty much it i mean i can't think of nothing else i wanted to make kind of going that loosen up and going that and really tell y'all in in depth in depth <laughs> i'm not good with my words y'all that's one thing y'all gonna learn about me i be having a lot going on up here my mind be everywhere so my words i'm not great with my words i've never been really articulate so hope y'all can understand the ones that need to will and if, if make sure y'all like share and subscribe share with somebody that's thinking about moving here because i'm you know, i am going to give y'all the real i'm gonna give y'all the things that i don't like about jamaica that's coming up in another video like not don't like but things that's different from the states and like i said i talked about the transportation i talked about the money and uh, mm, the dating because it's, it's not all glamorous either even in a dating you know so but those are stories for other days and i'm going to get into it y'all so thank y'all for watching if y'all made it this far and the sun is going down so y'all can probably barely see me but i hope y'all can hear me and y'all have a great day y'all take care if anybody out there really hurting or feeling like you know um i don't know what to do like they feel like they're out of options to keep your head up keep dreaming keep praying you know ask whatever you rely on pray to that and ask for clarity ask for guidance you know ask for your steps to be ordered to where you're supposed to be because that's what i'm doing the only thing i can do is strive for something better that's all i try to do is just strive to be a better person so Take care, y'all. Much love.